associate a quiz with a set of learning objectives and a competency that you want users to master. There are two methods of associating a quiz with learning objectives. You can associate a whole quiz with learning objectives, or you can also associate just a group of questions with learning objectives. For this example, we are going to look at associating a whole quiz with learning objectives. On the Objectives tab, click Associate Learning Objectives. Browse or search for the learning objectives you want to associate with the quiz. Select the check boxes beside the learning objectives you want and click Add Selected. You can also add a rubric assessment to a learning objective associated with a quiz. Click Add Assessment from the context menu of the learning objective you want to evaluate. Under Assessment Type, select Rubric. From here, you can click Select Rubric or click Create Rubric in New Window. For this example, we will cancel out of associating a rubric. For more information about rubrics, please access the rubrics tutorials. In cases where only a subset of quiz questions are relevant to a learning objective, you can align specific groups of quiz questions to learning objectives from the Quizzes Objectives tab. The questions must be together in a section. Creating sections will be discussed in a separate tutorial. For the associated learning objective, click the Edit Associated Questions button. As mentioned previously, the questions must be together in a section. At that point, you would be able to select the questions you want to associate with the learning objective table. When this is complete, you would select the Associate Questions button. By associating a quiz with a learning objective, you can tie the assignment to a competency you want your users to master. This association can be a basic association or an association with a rubric-based assessment. A default quiz submission view will appear to users after each quiz attempt submission. You can edit the default view or create and select a customized view. If you wish to create an additional view, click the Add Additional View button. From here, customize your options. For example, under View Restrictions, you can set a date and time to determine when users will see the submission view. You can also choose to display a submission view after users complete a specified quiz attempt and or achieve a required score. The View Details area allows you to customize and display questions, responses, question answers, scores, and statistics to users in the submission view. The Quiz Reports area allows you to gather information on user performance. Quiz reports are different from quiz statistics. They collect and present more types of information than is available through statistics. To create a report, click Add Report. From here, enter the report name and select from the various options below outlining the report type data you would like to have reported on. In the Release Report To area, select the checkboxes next to the roles you want to release the report to. When you have completed your selections, click Save.